following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. Maybe we can still heal you. Why? So you can just lock me up? No, no. Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships. Because they knew death was better than bondage. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then, it was nothing to me but blind. <laughs> the shadows betray you because they belong to me. In the hell do you think you are? Okay, it's not working out. I'm gonna need the suit back. For how long? Forever. Yeah. Yeah, that's no, 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 no. Please, please, please. Let's have it. You don't understand. Please, this is all I have. I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it, okay? So, Oz, I had an intro question ready, but V's uh, informed us before we came on air that he had something important he wanted to get off his chest. So, V's, the floor is yours. Yep. No, I, I didn't have anything important I wanted to get off my chest. I just wanted to talk about a couple of series that I recently watched. Yes. I recently watched yes. Marvel's Cloak and Dagger. Wow. The Marvel's Cloak and Dagger from Hulu. And I watched The Runaways from Hulu. Complete uh, the first seasons of both of those. And Whoa. I thought they were I thought they were pretty much like um a machine gun Kelly with a with the asterisk. Pretty pretty decent stuff. Uh, oh. I'm anxious to see if they make a season two on on either one of them and build off of them. Uh, the Runaways is is more of a teeny bop kind of show, a, mm. a little bit, but it's it's uh it's actually really it's I thought it was pretty dang on good that the, the um, characters and uh, Cloak and Dagger was the actors were really good actors to be young people so um and being based out of New Orleans I, I thought it was really really cool. That's it. Oz. That, so are you going to time stamp that? That, that? that was that was awesome. Well, was, I just didn't know awesome. what you were going to say, so that's why I was that's why I was saying I didn't know what you were going to say. Because <laughs> all you said was, "Yeah, I got a couple things I need to get off my chest." So uh, let me know when it's my turn to talk. That's what you um, said before we started. Yeah, and, and, and if I could just say this, these that was <laughs> that was amazing. That was awesome. Why couldn't you just say, "Hey, I, hey, look, man, for once." Hey, uh, Ozzy, shut the hell up. I'm going to talk about two movies I saw. Yeah, dude, that was awesome. That was it, wasn't even, it wasn't even movies. It was series. T- two series that I saw. That was great. That was awesome. Hey, I had heard, by the way, I don't know about Runaways, but I heard that they were going to make a second season of Cloak and Dagger. I thought that. Cloak and Dagger is pretty... I don't. I don't know how they're going to do it because one of them was supposed to die at the end of the movie, but neither one of them did. So, um, pretty interesting. They've always had an interesting relationship, man. I've always liked them, you know. They play. They play those relationships to to a T too. So, oh. I thought, I thought the relationships they played were really good. So it's on Hulu, huh? Yeah, it's on Hulu. Oh wow! And I'm going to watch Agent Carter next. Oh wow! Because I think. I saw That's Hulu awesome. as well. I, I'm I'm gonna um I I, I bet you um, I know what I'm gonna do after the show. I'm gonna uh, do a couple a couple uh, cloak and daggers. Yeah, I heard I, someone else was mentioning that to me earlier this week, so I, I'm interested in that. I got that that that's that's more it, mm, dude for real for real. Runaways is pretty dang Kong, pretty special too. Oh um, man, cool. It, it, it's, it, it, let me rephrase it. 
some of the stuff is kind of cheesy, you know, but like some of the characters like are really good characters. Like um, the the villain is almost like a um, oh man, what's that Denzel? It was a Denzel Washington movie um, where that that spirit would touch you and it would jump from um. Oh from, yeah, yeah, um, Fallen or whatever. Or... Fallen? Yeah, yeah, Fallen. So the, the it has a lot of a, a lot of the Fallen kind of feel to it. Oh at, wow. Towards, to, I mean, towards the end of the show series. So, okay. Well, I, who who who's going to get my um my attention? I will have to say um, today and tomorrow. Hey, if I'm you, I watch Cloak and Dagger first because I think Cloak and Dagger is a little bit better than Runaways. I, I did it vice versa. I watched Runaways first, and then I went into Cloak and Dagger. But but uh, like I said, um, Cloak and Dagger is pretty pretty good. Uh, Runaways is. Man, if I had the greatest, probably the first season, probably a seven, a six and a half, seven. That's um, pretty strong for you. Cloak and Dagger is probably like a seven and a half, eight. The, these, these are very strong words you're saying. That's very strong for you. These, these well, are I good mean, shows. Yeah. So, so you Everyone, think Cloak and Dagger season one is as good as Game of Thrones season one? Uh, well, because that's I mean, what you ranked it. Two different, two, two different shows, though. But they're both eights. Two different, sh- two different shows. No, I, I think an eight is more like a B. I believe eight, eighty, ten. Uh, to you know, yeah, that's a, that would be like an eight. A no, but I, 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 these, I love, I love that. That's cool. Um, so what, what? Tell me about Runaway though. What did you like it? What, why did you like it so much? What, what about it that like hit? hit Runaways. Hit, I like, the, I like the the main character. How they built off of the not the main. Well. Yeah, I guess he was like the main villain. Uh, they built they built his character in a way that um, that was pretty stinking special. Like he had, I mean, I don't want to give it away. I don't want to I mean, tell yeah. you. I no don't want to tell you. Yeah. So spoiler alert. Here we go. We got um, these powerful families, um, parents, and they have kids, and the kids are going to be the runaways, and the family, and the family are really powerful, but the families they work for. They're super they're super who, villains. They're super villains. Yeah, they're wow. super villains. Well, they're super villains in a way, but they're not really super villains because they were forced to be super villain, super villains. Oh, if I that makes sense. I wonder if they're aliens. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, the main character, the the super villain, is an alien. Boom. And he controls the the other villains. Mm. Pretty pretty nasty. So, but the the kids. Um, let me think. Uh, all right. So what is there? Six kids on it. So I think out of the six, three of the kids, four of the kids are really special. The other, mm-hmm. the other two are a little bit to, to be desired. Mm-hmm. And it might just be the actors that played the roles. Wow. Them. Funny. So, um, but I tell you what, the cloak and dad. Your actor, the black guy, and the and the, and the young white girl. Oh mm-hmm. man, they did a plus work on on those on on those series. Well, I, like I said, I, I've always been a fan, man. They, um, you know, they, just their their whole story is is pretty is, has always been pretty interesting to me, even from like the '80s when I heard about them and I like, got into them and stuff. You know, late '80s, you know. Yeah. So, who? Uh, I, like I, like you said, um, Hugo might have stumbled on stumbled onto something special. Look, okay, let's say this. All right. what, what was y'all favorite series from um, from uh, Netflix? Was it um, um, Daredevil? You know, was it? What, what was your favorite series on that line? Hmm. There's there's been a Netflix has had a they've had some good runs with me, man. Like I. Uh, I appreciate it. Like I said, um, was it Love, Death, and Robots? Or um... no, no, I'm sorry. Like, like the Luke Cage, the oh, of, the, of those, it's, the death always going to go uh, first season Jessica Jones and Daredevil seasons. You know. Okay, so Cloak and Dagger is more like the Daredevils, wow. um, and and. Um... And uh, the the Runaways is more. 
a little better than the 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 the, the girl Superman's. You know what I'm talking about? Super what? Wait, um, whatever. Because I don't I don't like that series too much. But Runaways <laughs> is better than that. No. Um. So okay. All right. I I, I look forward. I look forward to. Uh, Checking out both of them because because we you know we're gonna have to talk about Atomic Blonde too. <laughs> uh, we don't have to. Atomic Blonde was terrible. <laughs> I think y'all might think Runaways is terrible. You might think Close no. I, did, I, I I've been I've been I've been wanting to do Atomic. I, I'm sorry. I've been wanting to do Runaways. And I didn't know Cloak and Dagger made it to Hulu because I always thought it was on Life Form or whatever that um. That uh, the Amer- ABC Family, whatever that turned into, I always thought it was on that. Yeah, it was, it was on that, but it's on it's on Hulu. That, that's my thing. Like, now that I know it's Carter, on Hulu, Agent Carter's on Hulu too, but I have not watched a single episode of that. I've, I've watched but I will. some Agent Carters, so and they've been, and they've, been, they've been pretty good. They've been pretty pleasant and everything too. They've been they've been good. Uh, regular Scott, are you uh, taking a shower? No, 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 no. I, I, I just haven't seen either of the shows, so I didn't have much of input on it. Oh, um, are you? Are, so, are you not interested in any of the shows? Um, Cloak and Dagger interests me. The interracial um, relationship interests me. I'm always interested in interracials. Uh, Runaways, the the comic didn't really interest me. So, like the just the premise doesn't really interest me. Yeah, and knowing knowing what I know about you, I don't think you would like Runaways. Ah. So, there's that. But cloak and dagger, you're probably you think you think he'll cloak like and dagger, dagger probably, But the interracial relationships, is, they don't play. They don't. I guess because it's in New Orleans, they don't play on that at at all. Well, then maybe I, I won't I like it as much as I, I thought. I, I, actually, 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 they did because there was one part. Let me rephrase that. They did play on it a couple times because there was one part where I almost brought up my cell phone, recorded it, and put it on Facebook because it was. The, their inter, their exchange was so on point; it was freaking amazing. Really? Wow! Yeah, their exchange about this uh, this topic they had was I almost I almost whipped out my phone and recorded it because uh, and posted on on Facebook. Oh, and so they so they don't do any sort of they're not no sort of, no 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 sort of love interest whatsoever. Oh no, they they nah no there is no love interest. Whoa. They can't even touch each other. Say, they, say it again. They can't touch each other. No, they can't touch each other. There's no love interest. I mean, they touch each other. They explode. You know, they're they're they're. Oz, opposites. you know the you know the comic story of Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, yeah but but in but in the comic story, they can touch each other. Oh uh, well. Yeah, so so in the in the in, in the comic book, what? they 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 actually. Um, Dagger can um, can provide Cloak with sustenance by giving um, him by giving her some light by 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 her giving him light. Um. Okay. Towards the end of the series, they were able to touch each other just like that's interesting. Briefly, hmm. but um, I mean, y'all, you have to watch it because there, there's some there's some. I mean, you know, some. All right, so there's this one. There's this guy who's stuck in this time, like he's stuck in in his brain, and uh, he can't get out of his his brain. So he's like in a coma, mm-hmm. and Cloak and Dagger both touch him and go inside his brain, and they work to a way to free his mind to get free to use him to help them solve a bigger issue. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's pretty good. No man, well I'm, I'm all in. I'll be I'll be watching. This. Yeah, and and. and uh, Regular Scott, I, I would not suggest you watch Runaways. I'll get to it as soon as I get the polar. But before we get too like, deep into that, allow me to set the table. This is Take a Knee for Marvel vs. DC. I am your host, Regular Scott. I am here with my two co-hosts. We got the Comic Con of Sword, the mighty Ozzy Killmonger. Ozzy, say what's up. What's up, good people? And then we got V's. V's, say what's up. What's up, people? And good night, uh, people. Don't forget, you can check us out on Twitter at Need for Marvel vs. DC and at, uh, email us at Need for Marvel vs. DC at gmail.com. 
Download us on iTunes, Spreaker, Radio Public, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, Stitcher, and anywhere else that you listen to your podcast. Go to FiveLife.com. Check out our T-shirts at go to FiveLifeGear.com as well. Yeah, and the dude, man, bees came out the gate hard, dude. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm now, I'm kind of hyped. I think I, I am going to watch them cook and dagger down tonight. Uh, I, I, I think you, I think you will like Runaways. Hmm. Okay. I, like I, mean, you said, I, think, dude. I think you would have a, a, a better appreciation for it than than regular Scott. I, I, I got a long weekend and I got nothing, I got nothing to do. So, all right, let's get into some news. Um, John Cena is in talks to star in Suicide Squad. As. Rick that's Flag. that's no because Joe Kinnaman is coming back as Rick Flag. Wow. So hmm. what role do you all think John Cena will play? I have a couple well, ideas, but I'd like to hear y'all's first. Um V's if you have any. V's, what who uh, do you think John Cena will play in Suicide Squad? I, 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 don't, I don't I don't I have no clue. Dane, uh no, I don't know. I have no clue. Bane's not in that, is he? No. Uh, oh. Thomas, what you got? I feel like an uh, underused person from the original Suicide Squad was um, this character called Catman. So it'd be interesting to see him play Catman, but, you know. Okay. Um, I I was thinking he could either be Hellcat, or I'm sorry, not Hellcat, Wildcat, Ted Grant, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. KG Beast. Yeah, yeah like, I know. I don't know who any of those guys are. I feel like so. I feel like he he'd more likely. It'd be cool to see him as be being Wildcat. I think he could pull off a Wildcat. Hey, so so a little nerd fact for you, um, people. Um, go go take it. I'll try not to do a monologue. Go take you know, take a break. I'm gonna give me some hummus. Get but, your um, showers. Hey. Dude, Wildcat is also should be also ranked in one of the um in the DC universe as a as one of the good fighters too. By the way, where are you putting him? Top five, top ten? Uh, he's he he is around the top ten, top fifteen at least because he's he's one of the best boxers that uh, around. By the way, he taught he taught um, Batman how to he taught Batman. Um, to, Techniques and when Batman was on his journey, I had to learn. Okay, okay. Let people let people chime in and prove me wrong, dude. But yeah, um, Wildcat from from old Wildcat from um, JSA, uh, Justice Society of America. Yeah, he was a beast, dude. Literally, he was like the, like one of the world's best boxers, um, superhero, top Batman, some stuff. Yeah, yep. Okay. Um... There is, you know, last week we talked about some of the shows that were going to be on the Disney Plus network. Another one of those shows that's been confirmed is a Wanda and Vision show. What the hell? V's thoughts on a Wanda Vision show. Um, I don't know who Wanda is, so Vision? Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. Oh, Scarlet Witch. Okay. Um, I, it'll probably be... I, I would watch it, you know, but I, I watch series like that, so I think I would, I would watch it. I mean, hell, I watched Runaways. I watched Cloak and Dagger. I watched the whack-ass Arrow. <laughs> um, is it going to be a comedy? Is it going to be serious? Is it going to be... Yeah, definitely, it's definitely got to be serious. It can't be a comedy, right? Well, I mean, it, it's a woman who's in love with a robot. And by the way, she tweaked reality. She, since she doesn't have the same powers as the comic book Wanda, comic book Wanda, uh, Omega level, um, she tweaked reality and made it so that her ambition could have a um, kid. And they had twins. And that ended very bad. It, everything she does when she tweaks reality ends bad. I think that's how the show's going to go. Mm. I think it's going to be one of those dark humor type shows. Yeah, well, so, okay, so apparently, what do we know? We know Winter Soldier, Falcon, Hawkeye, Wanda, and um, Scarlet Witch, and Vision all survive all this madness. Perfect. Thank you. 
don't forget Black Black Widows <laughs> also has a show. All be on so I'm just waiting for them to announce either a Captain America or an Iron Man show, and then we'll know what's up. Well, no, they're not going to do that because I think, well, it doesn't matter what I think. But well, one one of them is gone. Yeah, that's a good. There's a good chance. There's a good chance. Um, Star Wars trailer. What'd you Hell think? Yeah, I, I I I do somersaults with my lightsaber. I love it. It was it was, it was fun. It was interesting. It was w- kind of weird. Uh, it I looks like they're I, completely retconning the Last Jedi. Wow! Because if you listen to the dialogue. You know, they talk about in and the name of the, the movie is called Rise of a Skywalker. The entire Last Jedi was Kylo Ren pretty much telling Ray, You're not anyone special. You're just an average person. Your parents were just regular people. You're a nobody. So this movie feels like it's almost like course course correcting after some of the backlash from Last Jedi. Um so, but but wait, what does that mean for um, when it when it's called Rise of the Sky, Rise of the Skywalker? Right. I, so I think. Who, so does that mean that? Um, I think we get some Force um, Ghost. I don't. Know, I think Ren is nasty. So you guys are what? What? Are, what? Are, what? Are, what was the blowback? They don't think Ren. They they think that Ren. Um, they went too hard on her being not special. You mean Ray? Right, right. And okay. well, it's it's the whole thing that the movie Last Jedi is the tone of the movie and the storyline that it takes the movie is completely different and it shifts everything completely from where Force Awakens went. It's almost like an anomaly and it's almost like a misstep because not a misstep, but it's almost like it goes in a different direction than it's supposed to. Like she's supposed to be an heir to something. It kills off smoke with, with no reason, just unceremoniously, anticlimactically. Um, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff like that. Luke Skywalker dies anticlimactically. Like a lot of that stuff just didn't sit well. I didn't even really like the whole scene with Leia when she gets pulled into space and she's able to, you know, somehow still survive in space as a, you know, someone. That's that's me nitpicking at this point, but. Right. That's but those are like some of the other stuff I said. Like some, that's some of the big stuff that I think is kind of a problem with Last Jedi. Like the fight scene at the end is pretty dope. That's about the only thing that's memorable with that movie. Wait. So so what's his what's his name? Rilo or whatever. Kylo Ren. The, so so what a, does Ky, isn't Kylo Ren a Skywalker? Yes, he's a Skywalker and a Solo. So why is it not about him becoming like, you know? Oh, it could be. It could very well could why, be. Why, why can't it not be about him finding redemption? And if, since you were saying it's a, it's kind of like a reboot or a, or a, or a like kind of. Course correction. Left, left turn, course correction, um, Garmin, Tom, Tom, Siri, whatever ways, course correction. Why couldn't it be? flipping the script instead of a, a good person turning bad why not a bad person turning good in its rise of the skywalker i would be all for it See, i thought i, I thought kylo ren and, and last jedi was pretty whack he played like a little punk like ray punked him a bunch like when um, no, I feel that. I feel that. I mean, but but when though? I mean, like, I don't, I don't remember any time except for the end when he like when he trusted her and she like played him. I mean, she she completely played him, but that was more so like no, no, the whole the the. Well, see, I would have to. I didn't do any research to to tell you exactly when, but that to my memory, I, that's my memory of it. It was him being a little punk, like. Because he You're saved her, like he saved her at the end. I don't know how when he became a punk though. No, no well, I, well, I, like I said, I would have had to do my research to to tell you, but I didn't do any research, so. No, I can get that. One, so. No, I, I just felt like he. I felt like his character was just kind of like, "What is going on?" So. That's how I. Yeah, that, that's, that's, okay, that's the exact same opinion I had of him. Like you know, it was. I don't know. But what what made y'all feel that way? 
I just I got lost with this dude. I I don't know where the rage came from. I don't know where the I see that my problem with I like Star Wars. Oh, I can tell I, I you do. exactly where the rage came from. The rage comes, comes, seems kind of. What, where, where does the rage come from, um, regular Scott? The rage came from he got beat by Ray. No, 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 no. Before that, he was pissed. Before that, he was mad. But even before all of the Ray stuff, it, it got weird to me because, like, this character, Han Solo and, and Queen Leia, Admiral Leia, they had a kid. Where did all this fucking rage come from? Come from from this cat, dude. Well, you got to remember his motivation. Yeah. Like his entire motivation um, was to be to finish the job that his grandfather started, who was Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Right. So, okay, but um, yeah. I mean, I understand that, but I just. I'm with Oz on that. I don't. I don't see it. I don't get it. He, it, and then it, and then his his character to me just not believable. Like I know. I mean, you guys you know? are saying this stuff, but you're not giving me any examples. Well, like I, I said, we didn't do any research to give you well, examples, here, yeah, but I, I'll tell you that's this. just we're just going off of our opinions of what we remember from the movies. When I saw the when I saw the movies, <clears throat> when I saw the mom. When I saw the movies, I. I I like I said initially. I just was like, "Where's all this, this the this misguided rage came, coming from?" And his character would go here. His character would go off on tangents, like when he was firing on his um, uncle um, with, with all of the Empire's weapons. He was like screaming and all. I was just like, dude, yeah, what like the? a spoiled kid, like a yeah, spoiled, uh, yeah, like dude. He reminds like, me no. of the kid that slapped his mom on. Remember that kid that that on on like one of them talk shows? He kept slapping his mama. That's what he reminds me of. Yeah, he he he, he came off with, and that's an example for you. He all like the anger, the the rage, and when he was talking to Han Solo, dude, all that was just fucking. Like I, I, to me, whenever I saw him on on screen, I was just like going, "But uh, okay." It, it was just very weird to me, you know. I wasn't excited to see this character. So, you know? regular Scott, what 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 do you what did you like about him and his character, and what did you like? Because it seems like you're pretty high on him. So, what what was it about the role he played and? Uh, no, 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 not necessarily. I just, I just wanted, I just was, I just wanted y'all to provide me with an example of what you were talking about well, when you well, say like well, his motivations didn't make sense. But I explained to you his motivations. Well, well, then give me, give us your opinion of that character. I think he was okay. I didn't like the direction they took him. I didn't like him losing in the first movie. I think he should have. One to establish himself as a threat to be taken seriously. I think losing to who? To what Ray. He, to? he lost to Dude, Ray. He he killed his dad. He lost, but he still he got his comeuppance by losing to Ray. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like he needed to be established in that movie, and then you take that loss to Ray in Dude, the second. Hold on, wait. So hold on. You did not feel like him killing one of the most iconic characters and in the Star Wars his in Star Wars legacy universe not establishing himself. But he already but but when you establish yourself, you don't get your comeuppance in the same movie. Like that's you know, why and, here, and, here's here's why Thanos is here's why Thanos works so well because he snapped away half the Avengers in this movie. He's gonna get his in the next movie. It builds anticipation for the bad guy to get theirs. The only reason he didn't get his regular sky in in the same movie because it would have been a six hour long movie. Remind me too, two this parts. Of, of him killing Han Solo. How did that go with him when he killed Hans? And 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 oh, hold on. And before you do that, Oz, there is there is the rumor because it, it we don't know. None of us know. But there is the rumor that Han Solo He's actually alive, killed himself. Yeah. Oh, I th I heard a rumor that he was still alive too. But no, no, no. But there's a rumor that he's the one who pulled, who made the lightsaber go through him because he knew what he had to do. 
And that's yeah. something that's something a father would do. Dude. I'm just saying. I, I, that's kind of weird because I don't remember Han Solo having any Jedi power. No, 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 no. He, no. he had he had his hand on the lightsaber. Hand, hands on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Huh. Mm. Interesting. I'm just saying. All right. Mm. Mm. What are your uh, so What are your expectations for Episode Nine? Do you think Do you think it has a chance to get close to a two billion? It's going to hit a billion, no question. Do you think it'll hit two billion? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say uh, two billion is a lot. Um, I, I'll say sure when it's all said and done. But I'm going to say this, and I'm, I'm going to say this as a 2019 um, calendar date. Man, Disney wants to make money. Disney wants to control our childhood. And control our fantasies and and how we view stuff, but people are gonna get tired of Star Wars, dude. There's gonna be fatigue, you know. Star that's Wars is I averaging was, one point two. Was, that's, go ahead. Star Wars is go averaging ahead. one point two billion dollars per movie in revenue. That's fine, but people are gonna Wait, get tired. Of it. When does it come out? Usually, like the episodes, like six. Six, seven, and eight. I mean, seven, eight, and nine have all come out in December, like mm-hmm. in the winter months. Yeah. Except for well, maybe I mean, Force yeah, Awakens. It, it all depends. It all depends on when they release it, too. I mean, if it's a December movie and there's nothing else hot coming out, then it, it could do one point five, maybe. But December's not a big movie time. Like blo- not a blockbuster time, not a blockbuster time. But, but it's, it's, a, it's a family time, though. People. Yeah, people that's what I was thinking. It's, yeah, it's a big family time. No, movie, it's a, it's a big movie family time when Star Wars came out. Like it didn't it didn't do good at the box office was not good during the, that time until Star Wars brought it back. Oh, see, I can yeah. re- well, I guess I guess maybe it's just my family tradition because I can remember taking the girls to the movies just about every Christmas for the past like six years. Well, no, I'm not yeah, saying I, you I, wouldn't I, I because there's too. always like Christmas movies that come out or stuff like that, but there hasn't. There's no blockbusters that started coming out until Star Wars did during the Christmas months. I mean, we would have to fact check you on that because I'm not 100 percent sure. <laughs> I, I I'm 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 more than willing to take that one because they because it, it's it's something that they establish like that's what they do. Yeah, I don't know about that. I do. Okay, I, I, I'm 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 confident, and then because then like they do like the Rogue Ones and um like the solos during the summer months. Okay, all right. You know, because those ones need. They need to be released during the blockbuster months when they can get more revenue. Yeah, I I, I, I know I know that they're going to make their money, but I, like I said, man, I and them pumping that out every year is just kind of ridiculous to me. It feels like it's every year. Oh, it is. Okay. Speaking of Star Wars, uh, the Disney Plus app will also have the Mandalorian TV series. Nothing, huh? No, no, I'm, 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 I'm wait, you can't just say it's going to happen. that. Tell us, tell us, what is the, is the Mandalorian, what is that about? Is that just about the, 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 the force, the force blood, the force juice? The, the, the bounty hunters, we might get a little Boba Fett action. Oh, man. Boo. Oh, oh man. <clears throat> okay, so I just did a little fact check, and, and, and regular Scott is right to, uh, to an point, but I think comparing Star Wars to any other movies is not comparing apples to apples just because of how, how big the um, Star Wars dynasty is. So the franchises, Wars, yeah. Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, Rogue One all came out during Christmas, and they all did blockbuster crazy numbers. But The Hobbit came out. It did well. I Am Legend came out. Avatar came out. The other Hobbit came out. Lord of the Rings came out. So there's been a lot of block movies that came out, blockbuster movies that came out, but just not to the point of Star Wars now because the Star Wars franchise is just above and beyond anything else you can even imagine. So, mm-hmm. but what what so what what you said Lord of the Rings came out before Star Wars. 
No, I didn't say before. And I, I was well, that's naming, what, that's, they, that was what I rank, said. No, that's what I said. They, that before Star Wars, before Star Wars, there wasn't bl- big blockbusters being released at that time. That's what I said. No, they ranked it. I, and I just told you what, what, what all did crazy numbers during December. I know, but what? I don't, I don't know the years they came out. I, I don't know. Oh, well, that, that makes a difference. Cause I all, I'm not saying that, that movies didn't come out during that time. The, the Force, the Force Awakens, Last Jedi, and the Star Wars story, those are all fairly new movies, right? I mean, those are Force... the 80s movies. Those... 80s? No, 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 no. But what other, what movie you could talk about came out in the 80s? Well, no, no, I was just making sure they weren't the 80s. Oh, no, 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 no. Like 2015, maybe? Right. Okay, so in o in o five, the Chronicles of Naria came out and it did. Oh yeah, sixty five million. That one didn't do that well though. That one, you think that one made its money back? Which well, one was I, that? No, no, I'm just saying opening weekend it did sixty five million. Okay, all right, that's not good. And, huh? That's not that good. Not for a blockbuster. No, yeah, I, I know that's that's not that great. That's not good for a blockbuster. So, so what, what what do we consider great then? At least 90. Three, or close to three. Yeah, three. 90 to 100 at least yep. opening weekend. Huh. Oh, opening weekend. Hold on. What did you say? Like 64? 65. Ah, that's pretty good for opening weekend. For sorry. a blockbuster? I thought, I, thought it, I thought it was all over. For No, for a blockbuster? Yeah, for, for for, no, just for opening weekend. For, for and for then, opening um, weekend, regular Scott. Yeah, that's not good though. Not for I not for. A, came out in '07 and it did 777 million. That's total. That's weekend. total. That no, that's total. That's total. Yeah, dude. So think about that. You know. No, I am. I am legend. That's that's one. No, but think about no, it. No, no. It, it, it says opening weekend equals Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, it, it does. It's. T- it didn't do seven hundred million opening weekend. I didn't say seven hundred. I said seventy-seven. Oh, seventy-seven. Oh. Yeah, we both heard seven hundred. I thought we heard seven hundred. Yeah, we we heard no, seven hundred. No, no. so, so look at that. So that is pretty good opening weekend. I don't know if sixty-five is for Narnia. Okay, The Hobbit came out. That's number four behind the Star Wars movie, The Hobbit, an unexpected journey. They did eighty-four. That's not 80, bad. That's not eighty-five. Bad. And that came out in 2012. So, you know, but then like to your point, regular Scott, freaking a Star Wars Rogue, a Star Wars story, which I hated that movie, did 160, 155 million. Oh, because they're going to make their money, dude. Of course, The Last Jedi did 220 million. And the other one did like 250 million. So here, check this one out, though. I wonder what Solo did. It wasn't on December. It wasn't released in December. There was only three movies released in December. I, I uh-huh. named those. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, let's move on. The Jane Foster is now Valkyrie in the comics. Does she still have cancer? I don't know. I don't read them. I don't read Thor comics. I just saw so that. She up. she got she got. She got demoted, huh? Well, I think she got demoted, and I think she just got promoted. This is a man's world, Thor. <laughs> um, final expectations for Dark Phoenix, V's. Uh. Okay. Oz. So Jane Foster is now going Oz, to be... final expectations for Dark Phoenix. <sighs> Can we talk about this Valkyrie thing first? Okay. <laughs> All right. So she's going to be the new... Uh, what's her whole deal, though? You know? Is she just going to be, like, a companion? Or is she going to be, like, uh, the power to deliver the, the warriors? This is... Okay. Forget it. Sorry. I don't um, know, man. I think they're going to clean house with Dark Phoenix... And um, yeah, uh, I'm I'm I, I'm excited. I uh, I, I feel like there are going to be some um, man. It'll be interesting to see if Cyclops plays a role in the movie like he did in the comic. You know, I don't think so. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't think um, so. We won't get a your... we won't get a Wolverine. This is this is one of the few. This is this might be the first X Men movie without Hugh Jackman. Great, good. I, I, I like I like Wolverine. I like Hugh, um, Hugh Jackman, but I think you huge. know it's time for the huge Aspen. Now, I, but I, but I think it's time for other people to like get some spotlight. Like me, I always love when I see my mate. We will see Magneto. We'll see Professor X. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, always, I'm always excited to see that. Um, Mystique might die. You know, she she's might get dead. toasted. No, she's gonna die. Wow. She's gonna she's gonna die. No doubt. Um, do you think do you think X or Mag is, are gonna die? Who? X X or Mag Professor X or Magneto? <laughs> okay. Um, Who? <laughs> Are you talking about X and Mag? Or like what? Oh. <laughs> so, yes, I was saying. That sounds like an Doctor, Adult Swim talk show. Do you think Doctor Who is going to have a guest appearance and die <laughs> in this episode? <laughs> no, I don't think either one of them is going to die. I think I think Mystique's going to die. I think they're not going to kill Jean Grey. I think her and Scott will get together at the end. But somebody, Beast might die. Oh, dude, I want you to really think about what you just said. Mystique and Beast dying, the only people of real color besides Storm dying. They're, they're, hold on, hold on, dude. Come, are you, dude all right, now you're, you're reaching a little bit with that one. Mystique is Ow. blue and Beast is blue. They're he both, first of all, they're not, they're both blue. People of color. Is blue a color? <laughs> Okay. So, so okay. Well, 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 yes. 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 Two I dark, think there, there are three dark people. Four. Dark. Four. Dark mutants. Four. Storm, Beast, and Mystique. If you kill off both of them, Nightcrawler. What is that Nightcrawler. Night. It, oh, Nightcrawler has made an appearance. So what you're saying to me is they said they're going to kill off Storm, Nightcrawler, <laughs> Nightcrawler, Beast, and Mystique. No, I, <laughs> no, I'm only killing two of them. There's only like eight characters in the movie. And they kill off all four of them. I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm a call race. I'm, I'm, I'm of course you are. Of course you are. Of course. You <laughs> Even know? though there's only like eight characters in the movie, and I want to kill two of them, and they happen to be not black, but just colored. Dude, man, I'm saying, man, hey, man. So you, so you would be okay if I killed off the white ones? Uh, you mean like as an example, kill off the um, <laughs> site, um Colossus? You know. Um, well, you know, technically, really technically, if he gets turns steel, he's of color too. He's not. No, white. he's not. He, he's 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 super shiny. Super he's not so white you though. You 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 could kill him off. Um, <laughs> no, um, no. Okay, here. Who? You sound terrible. No, you're terrible, dude. Because like here with this, what if they kill Professor? They now they won't kill Professor X. They're not gonna kill the yo. It's gonna be. It, Mystique's dead. There's no question about she's that. Dead. She's gone. She's and totally maybe dead. Beast, but it's going to be two people of color though. Storm might die instead. Uh, I don't know. The, Storm's character is still developing. They won't kill her off, dude. Maybe they'll but, save but, her for Black Panther. Maybe Black Panther will come and swoop her off her feet. Yeah, it's interesting, dude. I, yeah. Is it? it is it interesting? Because I don't really think it is. Um, we'll see. I don't think X Men like, Dark Phoenix is interesting at all. Well, it's the last hurrah before they do their own reboot. So why not, like, you know, but but that compared to everything, I mean, no, I'm not excited to go see it. I'll go see it, you know? I, I'm not going to go see it. It was like when I went to go see Hellboy, I was like, ugh, you know? I can't believe you went and saw that. How was that? Oh, dude. Reboot Hellboy. Um, <clears throat> man, it was... Hold on, man. I don't. I was confused the whole movie because I was wait. I know I got ingrained uh, with my Ron Perlman and um, you know, and the, the cat who played his father is good. But you know, it, it gets a little weird because he's such an amazing character actor. The guy who plays um, Hellboy's father. He's also the person who plays Odin on um, uh, American Gods, and he's also um, from Deadwood too. Um, he's just a phenomenal actor. He's just super good. So whenever you see him, he, he's it, it's like sort of watching Tom Cruise or um, or or um, 
Robert Downey Jr. at. It's like you're going, ah, you're amazing. You're going to pull it off. You're going to be witty. But, you know. But that scene, and also the sheriff from Stranger Things, he's Hellboy. And it was just, there were some really good moments. But then other than that, I was just like, ugh. I was not, ugh. Well, I, and the villain. Can we not regurgitate the same actors and actresses in everything? What do you mean? You know? Oh, man. Um, what's her face? Um, oh, Mila Jokovic? Uh, my man, she's in everything. She's trying to expand her horizons. At least she's becoming a villain. Whoa, dude. But she's still everywhere. I'm like, let it. And, and, her, and the role that she did wasn't necessary to have her in it. it, it that felt like having um, Ellen Page as uh, <laughs> as white violin and Umbrella Academy. It's just like... Hey, shout okay. out to West Coast J. Ellen Page doing Ellen Page things. Dude, dude, dude. West Coast J. Hey, always shout out. But dude, this is, I was just going... Mm. And, you know, um, there, there were some good, okay fight scenes. But, but other than that, I was like, all right. I literally left left the movie going. I saw some pretty cool trailers. I'm not that disappointed, you know. So okay, it, it was it was okay. I'm excited to see uh, Brightburn. Okay, where did that come from? Because um, because that was on the trailers that I saw. Okay, all right. Um, is V's back on? We got V's on. V's, you back? <laughs> Cause I want, I want, I want to play a game, and I, I really want you to play. I'm on. All right. So we, you played last week, and we're gonna play it again. I, this might become a weekly segment. Um, we're gonna play One's Got to Go, and this time we're gonna play with TV shows. So I got four TV shows. One of these TV shows has to go and is never created. Oh. Yeah, well, wait, wait, hold on. Was never created at all. Never created at all. Green Arrow. Here are your four shows. Oh, I'm sorry. Game of Thrones, The Wire, oh, what? Sopranos, Breaking oh. Bad. Oh, that's good. That's good, dude. One's got to go. Never been created at mine's all. Is mine's the Sopranos. Mine's Breaking Bad. Wow. Breaking My... Bad just took too long to start. I mean... If we can fast forward to the third season, oh, hell yeah. But the first two seasons were a little slow. Or hey, a lot slow, actually. That, I, I, I hear you. Um, my, um, this is in case anybody cared, um, Sopranos gotta go. Okay. Here we go. Game that was of, great. Thank you. Here's another one. Game of Thrones edition. One of these has to become your best friend. Okay, one of these so four. Wait, wait, hold on. So what happens to the other three? They're just they're just dead. Okay. okay. But actually, they never they never existed. But this one becomes your best friend. Nike. Here's the four: <laughs> Ramsey Bolton, dude, Joffrey. Yeah. <laughs> You're fucked either way, dude. <laughs> you know what? And. Brand? No, actually, no brand. Joffrey and Ramsey Bolton. Between those two? And they're going to be your best friend? Forever. <laughs> but best friend, right? Who do you want to be associated with the rest of your life? Well, well, my best friend? Give me, give me Ramsey. Give me why, Ramsey. Why, now, why do you say Ramsey, V? Hey. Because me and Ramsey, best friends, you know what we're doing. We beating bad chicks and killing people. <laughs> now, look, dude, I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say Joffrey because he's he's the king, you know? Yeah, yeah but I, Joffrey could care less about a woman. Oh I, I, oh, oh, I don't care about that. He's a king, and I'm his best friend. I'm going to still get some women, dude, and I'm still kill as many people as I want to and not get in trouble for it because I'm the king's best friend. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna play my cards right, and I'm gonna become the king's right hand. I'm gonna become the yeah. I'm gonna yeah. So oh, please, yeah. I'm 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 going Joffrey because well, you see what he did to his right hands, right? 
Oh, oh, but it's okay. But check this. I, 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 I can convince him to go ahead and kill um, Ramsey. So, so you're more convincing than um, Tyrion Lannister. Oh, dude, Tyrion Lannister wasn't his best. He all Joffrey ever wanted was a friend. You know, even when he was like um, using his crossbow to kill like um, young peasant girls. But anyway, um, and the other thing, dude, you you get tired of that of that Ramsey stuff, dude. Uh, man, that guy, dude, like. Hunting with your dog so they can eat, you know? Come on, dude. You get tired of that lifestyle. Okay. All right, regular Scott. Who's got to be your best friend? Oh, I, I was I, I was I was leaning towards Joffrey until I heard you also argument, but I I might go with Ramsey just because Ramsey might be more fun. Joffrey jo- Ramsey Ramsey seems like he'd at least have a little fun. Joffrey's a dick. Dude, they're both. They, Ramsey's nuts. Joffrey's right, a dick. Right, but what is your definition of fun with that cat, dude? Well, he'll. I'll huh? at least learn how to fight. I'll learn Are how to take care girl? of myself. You could do that with Joffrey. <laughs> and just because he's hunting, hunting, and the dogs, I, that don't mean I gotta go hunt with the dogs. I can stay at the place and uh and keep my eye on things while he go kill up stuff. I think I, I think I'm gonna add oh. a third selection and and add Cersei and I'm gonna pick Cersei. Oh, oh I'm picking Cersei. I'm picking Cersei too. Dude. I'm pick Cersei too. <laughs> Please, I, I mean, you see what I'll she did to her. You see what she did to her brother, man. I, yeah, I, I'll be her best friend. Yeah, I'll be her best friend. All right, dude. Game, yeah, Game of Game of Thrones I, I, Game of Thrones edition. Here we go. One of these four, okay. One of these four has to protect you. The other three. Are going to try to kill you. That's fine, dude. Just lay it on. Lay it. Lay it. Here's Do your. It. Here's your four to pick from. Jon Snow. Obviously, right? Obviously. Jamie Lannister with both hands. Ooh. Keep that in mind. Rob Ooh. Stark. Who? Rob Stark. Boo. Hey, Rob. Rob Stark more oh, than... I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Rob was Finish. a mastermind. He just got... He was a war tactician. But Hold on. I got one more. Not, uh... I got one more. I got one more. One more. And Braun. Braun? Yes. Yeah, but see, I know what you're saying. So Braun, dude. I know Johnson, you're... Jamie Lannister, and um, and Rob Stark. Uh, give me Jamie with both arms. Both hands. Okay. Okay. Both, Both hands. hands. I, 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 I like that. I, I do like that. So let me tell you. Oh, go ahead, regular Scott. Go for it, please. And I, I have a great answer for this, please. Um, I, I'm leaning towards Jon Snow because he would just figure out a way to win. Okay. I mean, he he uh, just he just would. I don't know how he does it all Jon the time. Snow is John Cena. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. He just he somehow he always figures out a way to do it. Okay, and you and you said and you said you said Bron, um, what Bron just because of his, um I think because you know Bron Bron will do whatever it takes to win. Like he's gr- you know he he'll, he'll get grimy with you, and I think mm-hmm. he's a little dirtier than the other three would be too. Now Jamie Len- Jamie is awesome, and you know Rob, even Rob was scared of Jamie. But I'm gonna say I am going to pick. John, and I'm going to say this reason why I'm picking John. John is an excellent fighter. He's got Valerian steel, and he's got Ghost. You can say Rob has has his um, dire wolf, but Ghost is a huge dire wolf. And John's fighting skills mixed with Ghost that 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 could that could help. That could help put the edge around, dude. Okay. But but dude, but 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 if you if you didn't have the dire wolves. Jamie could hold his own. Don't don't I don't ever forget Jamie that. Jamie could hold his own with with the dire wolves. Nah, them dire wolves. A lot. Be... One of them with ghosts. Oh yeah, he could hold his own. I don't know. It's just my opinion though, because Jamie was nasty. But um, I'll tell you what. If you didn't put him in here, but I would take. There's one I would take over anyone if he's fighting, not upset or not trying to get revenge. The dude that lost to the mountain. Oh yeah, he's awesome. 
He's awesome. Oberon? I'll take him over any of them. Who? Oberon? Oberon, yeah. Hold on, but if you, what if you, why wouldn't you just take the mountain then? The mountain, because the mountain couldn't beat him. He the did beat him, though. Beat him. But he did beat him. Uh, just, no. I, that's what I then I preface it by saying if he wasn't trying to get revenge or whatever, if he was just fighting. Because that kid had him beat. Orion had him ki- destroyed, but he just, you know, got sloppy. Because, well, of, will- uh, because he said, you, you you raped her, you you beat her, whatever, you know. Yeah, he's like, now confess, you know. Yeah. Um, no, nah, he was, he was, he destroyed the mountain. What what about, um, uh, I, I, can I, I won, um, the, the Night King. No, I'm just kidding. What about um the dude who was guarding the tower, who who fought with two swords? He was so he was legend to be the best sword fighter in all the land. Well, man. Yeah, V's, what you got for a final blow? Uh, I, I don't have anything. Maybe I'll try to get. No, I can't do it. I was going to say I would try to give Atomic Blonde another chance. I, I just don't can't. do it, dude. I, I I feel you on what you said. I still think some of those fight scenes were very, very excellent. I still will. Like no, no, some, some, some of the fight scenes were pretty good, but it just. Uh, I guess the storyline just didn't grab. I, mean, I don't know. Well, but anyway, so I, I don't have a final blow. Let's go. Uh, let's go, Los Angeles Clippers. Let's try to get another W tonight and go up two to one on the on, on Golden State. Oz, um, I feel you on that. V's. I will say I saw. I did see it. Um, I have a couple final blows. Sorry about this. I did, I did see a trailer. I want to figure out what the. I think it's like. Oh man. It's sort of like Lucy, but this girl is a just pro, and she takes out a whole like Russian like mafia. Uh, it, it's it's interesting. I look forward to that, and um, I will also say a couple things just for everybody to know. Uh, Star Trek Discovery um, ends its last season as of well, that's a lie. It ends season two as of today. So I need to put that on my list to watch that. We don't know if season three is coming back, but that's okay. I look forward to Brightburn. Um, still got to catch up on some more Doom Patrol. Uh, and that's all I got. Talk to next time. Hey, uh, everybody, as usual, peace and chicken grease. Hey, y'all have a good time because we going to have a good time. So we talk to y'all next time. Peace. Yo, what up, my people? This is J.R. Glant from Defy Life. If you're looking for an in-depth, honest, at times hilarious conversation on anything from current events to sports to entertainment and more, check out myself, Alvin, Thomas, Gerald, and Yosh on the Defy Life podcast. Dropping every Wednesday, available at GoDefyLife.com and everywhere your favorite podcasts are available. And as always, if you're not rocking with Defy Life, what's your life about? Got to pay the price, you make winning look easy, welcome to the five lights.